Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, today we're going to be working on round numbers. What does that mean? You know, is it like this? Nine round number, one round number. No, it's not that. Round numbers mean that we're going to round the number up or down. And it has some dependencies. Now, some people have some misconceptions about rounding numbers. Uh, it may be that later on in life, but right now I'm focusing on rounding for the elementary student. So we have these numbers, and let's say it goes from 0 to 4 and 5 to 9. When you encounter a number where you're supposed to say, hey, I want to round to the nearest 10 uh, or the nearest 100 and such, the number just before that, if it's 0 to 4, we round down. And if it's 5 to 9, we round up. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look. So what do we mean? Well, if we're going to round to the nearest 10, so we're going to nearest 10. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look. So 42, we go 40. 41, 40, right? There's two away. So we're going to round down to 40. 44, it's 43, 42, 41, 40. There's four down. Okay, so we're going to round down to 40. But 45 is, hmm, so wait a minute, you're going, wait a minute, that's halfway between. Well, yeah, but let's take a look at it this way. Okay. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, right? We go up. We're going to go up no matter what. Even if you think that's middle, it's going to go up to 50. And then 47, that should be self evident. It is absolutely closer to 50. So again, we're going to round up. That's what rounding down and rounding up means. Let's take a look at some larger numbers. Well, where are we going to? Well, we want to go to the nearest, let's say, uh, 10, and then we're going to do 100. So follow me on this. So the nearest 10, so let's do, I'm going to do the 10 here, and then 100 over here. So we're going to the nearest 10, and then 100. So 105. Again, we look at the number directly next to that 10, off to the right there. So that, that is 5, so we're going to round up to the nearest 10. We're going to have that going to 110. 155, same thing. We're looking at this number here. And then we're going to round up, because that's a 5. So here we go. There's an input. Look what I'm doing, 160, because that's the nearest 10 to 55. 149, right? Well, again, that's going to go up to 150, because we're looking at this number. But wait, let's take a look at how it goes for 100. We're going to be looking at this column here instead of this one here, so we're not looking at these numbers here at all. Some people might say, well, wait a minute, that's a 5, so that makes that a 6, so that would make this a 2. No, 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 no. We're not working it that way. Or even here, 9, 5. No, we're looking directly to the right of the number that we're rounding to. So we're looking at this, 1 and 0. So this that's definitely closer to 100. Okay? 1, 5. One, wait a minute. To five, so we bump it up to 200. And here, we're not looking at that nine. We're only looking at the number directly to the right of the place value that we're rounding to. That's a four, so we're going to round down to 100. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is, or I'd say, fifth, fourth, and fifth graders. You're going to be looking at these numbers uh, sometime during your school year. Fifth graders earlier than, than later. So these are decimal numbers. And we have place values for decimals as well. So here we have ones, 
tens, and hundreds. But over here, we have tenths, hundreds, and thousands. Okay? So we're taking a look at these numbers, and if I say, hey, I want to round to the nearest hundredth. Now, notice how I say that? Hundredth. Not hundred, or hundreds, hundredths. So that's going to be this column right here. So if I'm looking at this number and I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth, it's going to be 219.85 because we're looking at this number here. Let's take a look at the second number, 243.049. Zero four nine 049 or 243 and 49 thousandths. Okay, it could be of an inch, a mile, who knows? Okay, so we're looking again, we're looking at this this number off to the right, and because we're going to the hundreds to that column right here, and we just apply the same rules 243.05 because that nine is greater, it's closer to that 500. And, you know, we could put a zero there up here too. But it's zero, we don't need it, right? And the same applies here. 597.13. Let me put a zero, but I'm not. But wait, what happens when in the tenths column we have a number that's going to be, you know, if it's nine, and that's going to put it up and over. Hmm. There's a couple scenarios where things do change where we're at. There are special circumstances. So let's say 199.998. Hmm. And I want to round to the nearest, let's say, tenth. That's this one right here. No, yeah, that's what, that one right there. And you're going, whoa, 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 wait a minute, what am I supposed to do? Well, this is the nearest tenth, but if I round, if I say, wait a minute, I'm going to round this one up, but that makes it a ten, so I have to come over here, and that makes it a ten, and come over here, and that makes it a ten. So to the nearest, it's going to be this here. That is the, that becomes the nearest end. That's a special circumstance. So we have to remember that there are some special circumstances when it causes this, I want to say a tidal wave that goes across to the left, okay? But I'm not looking at this number right here. I'm only looking at this one here to get it to the nearest 10. All right, let's take a look at another scenario with this. So if I have 199.5, Five. Hmm. And I want to round to the nearest one. To the nearest one. That's going to be this one right here. That's my nearest one. Okay. But wait. If I do that, I have to look at this number here. Right here. That's a tenth. So I'm going to take that up, so I'm going to round up the next number because it's greater than 5, and this right here, so I would have to make that a 10, but wait a minute, that, that's going to be 10 ones, or a 10 and 0 ones, so I put it over here, again, it comes back to that number there, easy peasy. Let's take a look at and one last really large number that also has a decimal. So let's say it's like two, nine, eight, four, five, point three, seven. Twenty-nine thousand eight hundred forty-five and thirty-seven hundredths. And I want to round to the nearest, let's say, uh, tenth. And you're like, well, wait a minute. What do you mean tenth? Well, that's this column right here. This is that place value. That's that tenth. We're going to round that, and it's still it's just going to be 29845.4. Hmm. But wait, 
what happens if I change that number? Instead of being a three, it is a nine. What would I need to change? What would I need to change? How would I, how would I do that? Well, again, I want to uh, go to the nearest tenth. But wait, it's a special circumstance again, because seven, I'm going to round up, I'm going to add one to here, that's going to make it a ten, so then I would have two, nine, eight, four, five, oops, made a mistake, Mr. Woods does make a mistake, so it's a ten, so I have to make that eight, four, six, dot, zero, zero. Special circumstances. If you need help with this, go back check out earlier in the video. There's other resources out there. Ask your teacher. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. Now remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety.